Software applications are often licensed to end users according to defined validity periods. License Spring allows license entitlements to initialize validity periods and extend these periods by editing the license. Let's explore some of the time entitlements available when issuing licenses for your end users. There are many scenarios where controlling validity of the entitlements can make sense. Here are a few of the license models that can be handled using License Spring. Trial licenses usually need to be distinguished from other types of licenses issued and either have a fixed end date or number of valid days once the license has been activated. In the case of a subscription, the license validity should be synchronized with that subscription, which is often handled by an external source of truth, such as a recurring billing system or a CRM. Software which is licensed for use in academic environments often are tied to a student or user and have start and end dates to match the course term. Software vendors looking to unlock a specific functionality of their products for a limited period of time, either based on the terms of their license agreement or simply to offer an evaluation of premium features, often set expiry dates for those features. It's common for software vendors to control product updates according to maintenance period validity. In particular, perpetual licenses often have a limit on how long the application should check for updates. If the software vendor implemented a pay-per-use model on their software, then resetting allowances over a recurring period of time is usually a fundamental capability of their licensing mechanism. License Spring has several fields in its data model allowing for time-based entitlements when issuing licenses. The entitlements are configured to expire on a specific day. When a license check is performed after that date, the server will return a license expiry message. The license is configured to be valid for a given time period after which it expires. This time period starts at the moment a license is activated, independent of the date of issue. If a start date is specified, then the newly issued license cannot be activated before that day. The server response on license checks and activations includes a field to distinguish a trial from non-trial licenses. These licenses can also specify either an end date or number of valid days after activation. The maintenance period is intended to specify a period which the end user's app can check for updates. The maintenance period also works like the trial in that either an end date or a validity period can be set for a given license. When managing a per-use license, the allowance can be periodically reset. When implementing a feature to the license, the software vendor can set an expiry date. This date is returned from the server on license checks. After this date, the feature is removed from the license. In License Spring, validity period, trial end dates, maintenance periods, license start dates, and feature expiry dates can all be modified after having been issued allowing operations such as extending the validity period over a time-based license.